Aloha and good day, friends and yogis. I'm Nicole Spirit. I hope you're feeling wonderful today. We have a really short little class just to activate your inner fire. Sometimes it's known as your dragon energy. And these are some Qigong moves, some energy exercises that are gonna help your spine feel really awake and enlivened. Really simple, really fun, and it's not gonna take long. So we're gonna start with our feet under our shoulders. So kind of landmark where your shoulders are, how wide they are. And just go ahead and lift up your toes, create a little bit of a connection into the ground. And then when you get rooted and grounded, bend your knees a little bit, sink your tailbone, let your chest sink a little, let your chin sink a little, and just feel your whole spine as though it's almost being suspended by the top of your head and you can feel like it's elongating. Pause for a moment, just hang out, let your arms dangle. This is called Wuji, just being in a very simple, neutral position. Maybe you smile here with me and we activate our internal love energy. Take one more deep breath, go right into the belly with that intention. Exhale it out. And then we're gonna bring our hands over our belly, interlace your thumbs, and just place your hands in an area known as the lower Dantian, our elixir field. And let's bring our breath, our intention to our hands. So with a big inhale, puff up your hands. With a big exhale, release. Feel the air, that life force going back out. Let's do it two more times. I hope you're feeling really good today. And this is going to be a nice little invigoration for your spine. Yes, excellent. Let's release our arms. We're gonna to start to just bring our arms side to side, spiraling. This is called knocking at the door of life, also called the heaven's door or heaven's gate. So we're gonna let our hands make a little bit of contact into the body, especially around the, melt, the belt channel, not the melt channel, <laughs> the belt channel. And you can even get a nice little rotation through the shoulders. Let your head look over the shoulder as you twist. And as a variation, keep your head straight now. And it's almost like you're bringing your shoulder right under your chin. Feel that little bit of a difference when you keep your head isolated? Yeah, buddy, should feel really nice. Let's slow it down, come back to center. Gently release your arms. We're gonna reach our arms up. We're gonna pick cherries. So reaching up, this is a nice lateral movement for your spine. Really root down through your hips so it feels like you're getting this great opening in the side body. You can still smile here. You're picking those cherries. It feels good. It's a nice day. And we're hanging out. I really like it. Awesome. And then we're gonna float the arms down. Now let's do what's called a full body stretch. We're gonna float our arms overhead. This is also called the elephant swings its trunk. We're gonna lower the body down, keep your legs as straight as you can. Big inhale, breath, bend the knees, exhale and roll it up. We'll do it a couple times. Inhale down, bend the knees and really articulate through the spine and roll it up. Two more breaths, inhale down, Roll it up. You can see why it's called the elephant. You can really feel this. Good. And then when you achieve your standing position, you might even pause for a moment and maybe do just a little honoring back bend. You can lower your arms, keep your hands on your kidneys, and just feel that sense of opening up to the sky. Really supportive. You might even rub your kidneys and maybe give them a little bit of a pat. That's really good for releasing depression, anxiety, all that good stuff, all that not so good stuff. Good, and then we're gonna shake it off. Then, one of my favorite things to do, shake your tree. So shake and vibrate, even lift through the heels. And remember, when you shake and smile, you can't be in a bad mood. So notice what's going on in life right now. Maybe we need to stop and shake a couple times a day. Hmm, I just love it. It's like the opposite of just sitting there. So they say motion is lotion, and we get this really nice effect when we've got like this kind of weird <laughs> dance move, we're doing our thing. 
Good. And then last but not least, we're going to come to stillness. Pause for a moment and just feel your body. And then we're going to try our swimming dragon today. This is a beautiful movement for the spine because just like a dragon or a gecko or some kind of cool lizard, they move like this rather than up and down like a mammal. That's going to look really weird when I look at this later. But also, we're doing it together. So we're going to bring our feet back under our shoulders. We're going to bring our hands together at the heart. And let's just start with the hip movement. We're just going to move our hips from side to side. So it doesn't have to be a big movement. You can slow it down. And then let's do the arm movement. Come to stillness and we're just going to move the arms from side to side. Now if you're feeling it, this is the last part. You look away from your hands as you turn. Nice and slow. We're getting used to maybe new moves. How many times have you swum your dragon? Good, now come to stillness. Let's go side to side with the hips and we're gonna go opposite with the arms. So your hips go left, your hands go right. Then, if it's available, so gently you turn your head to look away from your hands. Yeah, buddies, it's awesome. Slow it down, meditation in motion, qigong, energy skills, really good for learning how to give your mind and body something to do while you're trying to meditate and slow down your thoughts. Good, we're going to come to center, we're going to bring the feet together now, try to get your balance, and we're going to do the same thing. So feet and knees are together. And we're just going to continue on the same way, really nice and slow. You're looking away from your hands. Maybe you tap into that inner smile. Maybe you tune into that energy of your own inner dragon. It's said to represent your kundalini, your inner life force, your spiritual energy. Good. Now we're going to do one final variation, stepping your feet apart again. And we're going to actually do what's called swimming the dragon. So we're going to start to swim and dip the hands down. And again, you can feel this really nice oscillation, this movement in the spine. Make it fun. Make it easy. Maybe you smile. Maybe you laugh. That's super good. Then you're going to swim your arms up overhead. There's really like, I want to say there's not like a terribly wrong way to do it. Just move. Feels pretty darn good. And again, just do any little variation that might feel nice as well. We're going to pause. We're going to bring our feet a little closer together. We're going to come up onto the balls of the feet. And we're going to stimulate an acupressure point known as kidney one, which is right at the ball of the foot. It's right where your foot is lifting off the ground. Then we're going to lower our hands, lower our heels, and we're going to flip the palms to face our body. Bring your hands right in front of your lower dantian, which is, this is actually the symbol for the water element. So we're stimulating our kidneys, our bladder. We're actually stimulating the whole spine, so it's super good for us. Let's do that two more times. So we're going to bring our arms up overhead, stand up on the balls of the feet, and then flip the hands, gently lower the heels, and bring that triangle in front of the lower dantian area, elixir field, gem field. One more breath, bring the arms up. It's really good to stimulate kidney one for releasing anxiety, fear, coming into a really good place, lower down. Good, bring the hands in front of the belly again. And then ever so gently, we'll cross the hands again. We'll step the feet as close as is comfortable. And then let's be a bamboo in the wind. So this is where we let all thought go. We just see which direction our body wants to move and sway. Maybe you even close your eyes. Just find your breath, but no intention here other than just to simply let go. Yeah. So let's come to stillness. We'll pause for a moment, step your feet apart. 
And then we're gonna finish off with just the simple belly rub. We're just gonna rub our beautiful belly. I love you, belly. Thank you for digesting. If it's available, go clockwise. So really honoring the direction of the large intestines. Good. And then we're gonna let it go with a sigh. Nice inhale breath. <sighs> beautiful. I wish you a wonderful day. I hope your spine feels alive and awake. Remember the spine moves typically in three directions and this lateral or side movement, this oscillation is another direction that is supposed to support your vitality and youthfulness, your rejuvenation. And yeah, I just wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Bring the hands together. You can gently close out your practice with any little saying that you wish. And from my yoga roots, I simply love the very kind greeting, namaste. Take good care. See you next time.